is a bit better. YouTube fam, back with y'all. Had to get this lightning and this sun. The sun, right? Um, again, I want to talk from the top of this morning. Queens, get your power back. Um, you know, um, God woke me up this morning. This, this what came to my spirit. You know, this what God put in my heart to talk about. Queens, get your power back. And, you know, a lot of times, God, God will speak to you. God will let you know what he wants you to say. And, you know, and you just got to be led by the Spirit. And um, this this topic really been on my heart this morning. Really been on my heart this morning. And, you know, uh, some of y'all, how, how you doing, Shay? You know, some of y'all may look at it like, cool, wow, why you don't dress the men? Why everything's towards women and all this stuff here? But, you know, one thing a lot of women got to realize, you know, as a woman, you hold the power. That's just how important you are and how valuable, how valuable you are. Uh, good morning, Alexis. Uh, you know, as a woman, like, you hold the power, you know. Um, Women have, in the beginning, um, Queen Keish, good morning, always had the influence over men. Uh, a woman always been a man weakness. And I talked about some of this yesterday, you know, but now in today's society, in 2020, men have became women weakness. And now women would do any and everything to get a man and to keep a man. How you doing, Melanie? God bless. You know, now women, and I'm not saying all women, but, you know, a lot of women, you know, you got some women, um, they, they walking in their power, you um, know, they are not settling. But whenever a woman is settling in a relationship where she's um, letting a man cheat on her, letting a man abuse her, whether it's verbally or physically, um, when the man just don't value her at all, I mean, he, he just don't treat her like a queen, that, that is a woman that lost her power. A woman that lost her power is uh, a woman that a man can take out on one date and promise her the world, and then she got her legs open. That's a woman that lost her power. A woman that would sleep with a man on the first date. A woman that would tongue kiss a man on the first date. That's a woman that lost her power. Like I talk about the pick Misha. That's a woman that lost her power. Some of these women ain't really lost it because they never had it. They never got their power. <laughs> but that's a woman who's not walking in. That's what I mean by that. The hold me down. The hold me down. The ride or die chick. And back with what I was saying before, society came out with this stuff. And, you know, I... I you know, I believe from the spiritual standpoint, the enemy is was behind this. The enemy plan was to break the the queen consciousness of a woman, because God created every woman to be a queen. Every woman is a queen, but majority of women, not all, majority of women are broken. They, they are broken by society, and. They are. They have been taught by the rappers, social media, television, reality television, to ride and die for a man. You see what I'm saying? To ride and die for a man. You know, and the ride or die shit. You know, it, it came from really the the biker community. You know, um, it, it means for a woman to ride with her man, even to the point where the it risks risks her life she's gonna ride with her man and you know it remind me of bunny and clyde bunny and clyde you know was a couple that they robbed together they killed together and they died together that woman actually she rode and died for you know um bunny actually rode and died for clyde you know she she died for <laughs> you know for him robbing people and they got shot and they got killed by the cops 
I think it was in um, Louisiana. I believe it was in Louisiana where they got killed at. You see what I'm saying? That's an example of a ride or die chick. A woman who's willing to lay her life, to give her life up for a man. And, you know, spiritually, the man's supposed to, if you look at it, the man's supposed to ride and die for the woman. If you really look at it, because the Bible says that a man should love his, his wife like Christ. And, and Christ laid his life down for for the for for the church, you know, a man should love his wife like the same way Christ loved the church. A man should love his wife, and Christ laid his life down for the church. So really, if you look at it, the man's supposed to be the one that <laughs> sacrificing himself for the woman. But society, then now you took that, you, you take that, then you got the gangster rappers, which is the black community. Cause I, I maybe I'm wrong, but I ain't seen no rock band. Talking about ride or die, ride or die, don't, 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 don't. But you got the black gangster rappers putting that mess in the music. And I saw this on YouTube because I had searched this on YouTube, you know, the song Ride or Die Chick and the black gangster rapper, I need a ride or die chick. Mm -hmm. I need a ride or die chick. Mm -hmm. And be honest with you now, I'm going to say this here. Um, say this here. Um, most majority of uh women who are here talking about the ride, they ride or die are black women. Uh, it may be some. I'm not saying all. I said the majority. White women do it too. But it's the black women. I'm gonna ride for my man to the wheel fall off. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't seen too many white women yet say that. Yeah, girl, I'm gonna ride for my man to the west fall off. I mean, really? How many white women you hear go around and saying it? But you you see more black women. Girl, I'm gonna ride for my man to the wheel fall off, girl. I'm gonna let you know ain't nobody gonna ride for you like me. That's a woman who lost their power. The ride or die woman. The hold me down woman. You know? And sometimes I get kicked back from women. And the reason why I get kicked back from them because they 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 don't have their power. I'm talking about them. I'm stepping on their toes. So instead of them embracing what I'm saying, they want to be in the comment. Oh, you always blaming me. Oh, women. Oh, that ain't true. Whoa. What about the men? Men gotta do right and this and that and the other. You see what I'm saying? And that's the reason why, not the only reason, but that's the reason why a lot of men do not want to get married. Because a lot of women are not walking in their power. A lot of women have lost their power or never had the power. And they allow men to just do what they want to do to them. I mean, and I used this illustration before. If you can go on Kroger, Mayor, Walmart, and and get free groceries, and you ain't got to pay. If they're telling y'all, you ain't got to pay no more. Everybody just come in here. Oh, yeah, how you doing, sis? Everybody got to come in. Everybody, everybody, everybody can just come in here and just get all the food they want. Get all the food they want, you ain't gotta pay. We're in the pandemic right now, so free food. Everybody just get what they want. If, if, if all them stores say that, who gonna pay for food? Are you gonna say, no, nah, no, nah, I wanna pay. I don't wanna pay, that's not right. I'm going, who gonna do that? If, if, if they giving out free food, you can go in the store and just grab what you want, and you ain't gotta pay for it and just walk out. Who gonna pay? That's the same scenario with women yeah, I know all races do it, but I'm saying the black race do it the most. The majority of the races are the blacks. All races are doing it, but the majority are the blacks. And I believe, I believe that's, that stuff was, was designed to bring the black women down. Because the black women, they do it the most. They do it the most. If you see it on social media, if you look on social media, you're going to see more black women on social media with that ride or die stuff. I see it all the time. A black woman going live talking about riding down for a man and she go viral. The blacks doing it the most. And what and, 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 and what so I'm not saying the blacks are the only one doing it, but the majority of the races of the blacks doing the ride or die stuff. The majority. That's where and that's and, and that's one of the reasons why the question was asked why a lot of black women are not getting married. Because society trying to break the black women down and a lot of black women are falling for it. A lot of black women are falling for it. 
you know what I'm saying? So the blacks doing it the most. The blacks put it in their music. The blacks, if you go on on TV, you look at the reality shows, you're going to see the blacks on there more so than any other race with that ride or die stuff. You're going to see the blacks doing it the most. And, and, and I believe it's designed to bring the value of the black women down. You see what I'm saying? They already, society already know this here. Oh, we do this here, the black women going, they already know. See what I'm saying? Now, if, if you are not that type of woman, I'm not saying all black women, but a lot of black women, they believe in ride or die. So the blacks doing it the most. The blacks are doing it the most. And what y'all got to realize, but like I was saying, if you go, if you can go in the store and get anything you want for free, why, who, who going to pay for that? So if a man could, if a man could just call a woman, hey, what you doing? Oh, I ain't doing that. Hey, let me come over. Come on over. And come over there and, and get her in the bedroom and have a, have a leg open to have sex with her. Why he going to marry her? Why he going to marry her? You see what I'm saying? Did what, did what, did what I mean by women don't have any power, not walking in their power. Why would a man marry a woman and he can get everything he want for free? He getting the, he getting the coochie for free. He ain't got a good team. He ain't got to date no woman no more. And it's not every woman, but a lot of women losing their, their self, losing their power over men. And men don't have to go out on a date with these women no more. A man don't have to court these women no more. A man don't have to spend money. I mean, all they got to do is just call a woman. Hey, let me come over. And women sit right there, come on over. Why, why are men... Why would a man gonna marry a woman when they're getting it for free? Why would they invest in the cow? Why would they invest? So to answer that question, like one of my sisters are asking for, and this might not be to every black woman, but why the black women are least likely to get married is because a lot of black women are broken. Whites are broken too, Spanish are broken too, they broken too, but most majority of the women who with their ride or die stuff, the hold me down stuff are blacks, blacks. We are the ones doing that. And, and, and guess who behind that? Black men. Black men put that in their music. You see what I'm saying? Black men put that in their music to bring down the black women. Black men. Black men put that in their music. I don't see too many white bands, again, no rock band. Ride or die. Ride or die. Come on, guy, ride or die. Woo you, if you, you look at the music industry, you're going to see the blacks, black men, influencing black women to be a man rider. You see what I'm saying? And this is one of the things that hurt in the black community. You know, society, the gangster rappers. We are hurting our own black women. Black men doing it here. Ain't the white man doing it. The black man doing it here. So, a, a, as a queen, what I mean by getting your power back, and I coached a client the other day, you know, I ain't gonna say her name, a couple of nights ago. And she said, Coach Rod, I used to be that, um, I used to be that chick you was talking about, the ride or die, the pit Misha. I, I was there, I was married, you know, I did, I did all of that. But she said, Coach Rod, I'm, I'm in my purpose right now. Right now, Coach Rod, I'm at a point in my life where if, if I don't never get married again, I'm, I'm happy, because I'm doing my purpose. That's a woman who got her power back. Because what she's saying, telling me is she refused to settle. She refused to be on her back being played by a man. She put her foot down and saying, if a man want to be with me, he's going to have to respect me. If you're going to be with me, he's going to have to wait for me. That's a woman walking in her power. A woman that's walking in her power is a woman who in purpose. She helping other women heal. She going back. Instead of her sitting here crying about a man, she, she, she going in the back. And helping other women come out of what she came out of. Teaching other women their worth and their value. She got a podcast now. She doing, she doing ministry. She, she, she helping healing women. And this is why I try to tell a lot of my clients, like, you sitting here crying about a man? Girl, get on your purpose. Find what God wants you to do. You see what I'm saying? Don't sit here and be down and depressed trying to figure out how can I get a man. Why men don't want me. Why I'm being rejected. You being rejected because you different. You being rejected because, um, because a lot of men can't see your value. That's why you being rejected. You're not being rejected because you're not wanted. See what I'm saying? 
And that's what y'all got to realize. Yeah, when you walk in your power as a woman, when you get your power back, you, you're not going to be like, you're not going to be able to get a, a man just like that. It might take you a long time. You see what I'm saying? But because you are different. A woman that walk in her power, she different. She's she not going to let nobody get her on her back who don't value her, who don't want to respect her. She is going to, you know what I'm saying? She is going to say, hey, listen, I'm going to walk in my purpose. And that what, and I told, I told that client, I said, you, you want the best, you want the best coaching sessions I had. And I really did mean that because it's, it's sort of hard to, for me to get some women to find their purpose while they are single. I tell that to a lot of women. Yeah, but Coach Rod still need a man, though. Yeah, but Coach Rod still need a man, though. Yeah, but Coach Rod, it's like, I got to tell them, sir, you can't do nothing about that, though. Yeah, my clock ticking, Coach Rod. My clock ticking. I want some more kid. But you don't have no control over that. You don't have no control over that. And two women get their power back. These men going to get married and start respecting women. When a man can, when a woman let a man Grab on her body, body on a first date. Touch her boot, her butt on a first date. Come on, why would a man respect? You know, listen here. Every woman deserve to be respected by a man. Don't get me wrong, but why would a woman respect a man? What y'all don't understand about a man? A man is like a child. My cutoff game is strong. There you go, Shay. That's what I'm trying to get these women to see. When you got a strong cutoff game, you walking in your power. You see what I'm saying? And what y'all ladies don't understand is that a man is like a child. Trust me. I don't care if he's a good man. I don't care if he's a girlfriend man. He's going to try you to see what he can and can't get away with. You can tell a child, don't do that. I, I, don't touch that. Go what they're going to do. They're going to try you. They're going to try you. They're going to touch that to test you to see what you're going to do. They, they'll look right at you and touch you. They'll, a child will look right at you and touch you. After you told them, don't, that's how a man is. He gonna try you. You hear me? And once that man know that you ain't gonna stand your ground, you gonna let him grab on your butt and y'all on a first date? He ain't not gonna respect you. He's supposed to. Cause you're a woman. Yeah, you a queen. He's supposed to. But he ain't gonna do it if, if you don't if you don't stand your ground. That's what I mean by women getting their power back. If I, I heard another coach. And he said, women asking him, should they kiss a man on the first date? I'm like, really? I mean, I I'm saying to myself, like, we in a pandemic. We are in a pandemic. Number one, we are in a pandemic. We got the COVID going on. And y'all around right here talking about want to kiss a man on the first date? Are you serious? I'm like, you ain't concerned about COVID? COVID is real. You see what I'm saying? I have, I have known some people... Like, I had a friend that, you know, we grew up, you know, we grew up together. Died from this right here, man. That, this ain't no joke. And y'all want to kiss a man on the first date? You want to put your mouth on the man's mouth on the first date? Y'all don't know what y'all dealing with these days, sis. What y'all got to realize, we are living in society. And I'm not saying all men are like this. But a man, a man will just not been on out of bed with a woman. He could have been just now went down on that woman and performed oil on that woman. Then go on a date with you, you don't even know it. You don't know where that man mouth been. And you gonna come out kiss a man in the first, that's a woman who lost their power to even entertain a thought like that. But a woman that walk into her power, she not gonna kiss no man on the first date. She not gonna let the man put his hand on her body on no the first date. She not, she not, mm -mm. She ain't going back to his house. She ain't doing none of that. And that's what I mean uh, um, thank you, sis. Uh, Feeks, Manuel. Hope I said your name right. <laughs> you, oh, hope you're, uh, hope you're a woman, but that name threw me off. You see what I'm saying? He not gonna do what y'all gotta realize. A woman that walk into her power, she ain't doing that. She she stands out. And what I'm saying is, if if, if queens get their power back, stop falling for society. Stop falling for. Stop falling for uh, uh, um, the nonsense that these gangster rappers putting in y'all head to lure you down, to break you down, to let a man walk all over you. This is what's going on in society. And until women get their power back, and I, got, I, and I tell women, I tell women like, you know, 
the funny the funny thing about it, the women who want to get married, then the man want who let a man just get on top of them, and he ain't got to take him out on no date. Do the man want? I want to get married, Cole Rod. I want. I'm waiting on my husband. Yeah, but he, you waiting on your husband, but you just told me that you let a man have you on your back on the first date. And I tell him straight forward, you ain't gonna. How you going How you expect God to bless you with a husband now, and you on your back like that right there, girl? You ain't gonna never. I tell him. I tell him straight forward. How you expect God? To, to bless you with a husband, but you giving out all the free coochie. Who gonna invest in you? What man gonna respect you and put a ring on your finger? And he ain't, this man, and this the problem, men ain't gotta court some women these days. Men ain't gotta court them no more. They ain't gotta pay for dates no more. They ain't gotta do none of that. All they gotta do is have must, and, and half a time they ain't even gotta have that. And, and, and that's it. And and, and 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 a woman will sit right there and let a man don't even take him out on a date, come over to her house. And I have seen it in my comment section. Here come a woman. Uh, well, I went on a first date at my boyfriend's house, and he's a rich man, and we just tongue kissed and we smooched, but we didn't do nothing. Girl, you lying. That man, that man knocked your tail off. You lying? Cause when you go to a man's house on the first date, you kissing and tongue and smooching. Y'all had sex. You had sex. Just be real. I've had women in my comment session now bragging about, bragging about like, well, that's not true because I went on a date with my, that's what I'm talking about. This is why men are spoiled. This is why men are, are, are just rotten because women are not walking in their power as a woman. Women are not like the young lady I coached the other day who, who, who in her purpose. And that's what it means to get your power back. It means to have standards and not only have standards, it means you gonna go by your standards. It means to have boundaries, and, and and not only have boundaries. It means that you're not gonna let nobody disrespect your boundaries. So many women got boundaries. So many so many women got standards. They can tell me what their boundaries and their standards are, and they'll sit right there and let a man just do what he wanna do to them on a first date, and they still entertaining the man. And to you get like uh like me i got zero tolerance for foolishness zero tolerance for nonsense i got strict boundaries and i go by my boundaries period one of my boundaries is i do not entertain married women if you married don't 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 talk to me don't approach me don't I'm, I, you're not gonna get my number i do not entertain married women period i don't want it i don't want no married woman i don't want to be a side, a side in, a side dude. <laughs> I want to be the only one. I don't entertain married women. You see what I'm saying? But if you got a married man, can have a wife, and sometimes he can be a pastor, and sleep with her, any woman he want in the church, any woman he want in the community. And what the, what the average woman do when they man cheat? They sit right there and they stay. Right there next day. This is why men do what they do. This is one reason why men do what they do. And and y'all, I see it all the time in, in in movies. I see it all the time in movies. I saw a movie yesterday. It grieved my spirit. I couldn't even watch. I couldn't even get into the movie. I couldn't even watch the movie. The movie was like this right here. This is what society is doing to the women. The movie was like this right here. You got a. It was a church Christian based movie, right? You got the pastor and the first lady. Then you got the deacon of the church, and he got a wife. And the first lady cheating with the deacon of the church because her pastor husband is neglecting her because he's neglecting her for the for the ministry. So she she cheat on him with the deacon. And then the deacon wife come home and see the first lady having sex with her husband. Now she go back and, and consult in the pastor. Now he having sex with her. I said all these folk around here just having sex, cheating on each other. Now she pregnant, he pregnant, and the um the passive wife, the first lady had HIV and all that here. I said, I can't watch this here. Because I understand what that what these movies are doing. And then guess what? The women, the woman who got cheated on, the deacon, the deacon wife, she stayed with her husband and she came home and saw the pastor wife 
riding her husband. She put a camera in her house and she saw her best friend having sex with her husband. And get what she did, stayed right there. My point is this, society is trying to take the power of women and teach women to let men cheat. There are so many movies. There are so many movies on on, on different, uh, I forgot what that movie was on, but like on Netflix and all these different movie things, there are so many movies dealing with a man cheat in the women's state with multiple women. That's sending a, a mess, and this is what the Lord showed me. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. The devil trying to break down the women. Because every time you look at a movie where a man cheat with a bunch of women, that woman always sit there and stay. And the movie goes like, he changed, they get counseling, and he don't cheat no more. He don't, he don't, in real life, it don't work like that. It don't work like that in real life, in most cases. But if women get their power back and, and put their foot down and force these men to respect them and value them, let these men know, hey, listen, if you ain't going to step up to the plate and be a man, <laughs> you will never get this right here. You won't even smell this. You won't even... You won't even touch this right here. You hear me? If, if, if every woman get like that, start letting these married men get on top of them. Start entertaining married men, period. Any man that's married, mm -mm, no friends, don't call me. I'm going to tell you one time, then I'm going to tell your wife on you. If you're a married man in your inbox, I'm going to tell you one time, I'm going to screenshot it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tag your wife in this here. You, you, this, how you, this is how women should do these married men. You got one more time to inbox me. Inbox me again, I'm going to expose your butt. This is why these men do what they do, because y'all, y'all, y'all too nice. Oh, I ain't going to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to get him in trouble. And then you make excuses for the man. Well, you know, ain't nobody perfect. Everybody got sin. I don't want to hear that. A married man ain't got no business inboxing you. Period. But a lot of women entertain a married man. And he, one time I said this one time, and he come a woman. And here come a woman going to rebel against me on that. Well, um, it's, 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 it's not my problem if a married man want to inbox me and be with me because I, I didn't make vows. He the one made vows. Or I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to be faithful and all that here. And I'm like, see what I'm saying? A broken woman. Broken woman who not walking in her power. You see what I'm saying? But when you strong enough to be single, in your purpose, you you're not doing what society is telling you to do. You're not walking in, in, in with, with low with um. You're not you're not walking as a low value woman. When you got standards, walking in victory, that, that that's that means you walking in your power. That means you you got your power back. That means that you you standing for something. You see what I'm saying? And this one thing a lot of women gotta realize. I understand that women might say, well, what about the men? Why men ain't going to do this? Why men don't do this? I get that. But at the end of the day, as a woman, you if you give that man a green light, he going to get your body. Ain't no man going to turn you down. No man going to turn you down. I don't care if he's a girlfriend, man. He ain't going to turn you down. The only man that I know that turned down, I'm just saying that I know, that turned down a woman was the man in the Bible named Joseph. When, when Potiphar's wife tried to get him, they're the only man I know. If he ain't got integrity, integrity like Joseph, he ain't going to turn that down. Job, a man like Job in the Bible, okay, yeah. But I ain't, I'm talking about a regular man walking around in 2020. He ain't going to turn that down. <laughs> he ain't going to turn it down. You get that man a green light. He going he, 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 he to get it. He going to get it. You hold the power as a woman. You always held the power. Women always had the influence over men. Women always... Women always had an influence, even from the beginning of time. A woman always been a man weakness. But now, in 2020, men are women weakness. Men are, women are like, not all women, but a lot of women are like vultures when it comes down to a man. You let a, you let a woman put her husband or her man on Facebook and he got muscle and he got six pack and he tall and big. You have a bunch of women in that man inbox. Bunch of women in that man inbox. The same women on your Facebook page. If y'all women right now, if y'all were dating a handsome man, and you put that man on your Facebook page, the same women on your Facebook page, they'll be in that man inbox. 
like vultures. And one of my friends I was talking to last night, and she sent me an um, a Instagram of, of this man page on Instagram, muscle bound, slim, slim but built with a six pack, take a picture with his shirt off, he got tattoos all on here, all down in here, you know, handsome, swag, and you got women all in the comment, just drooling all over the man. Oh, check your DM, oh, this and that, this and that. that that's what I mean by women losing their power. And what they don't know, <laughs> all that that man don't see them as no wife, as no queen. All he want to do is just do one thing, lay them down. That's it. Get on top of them, and then when he get finished, he going to disregard God them like they ain't no, no importance to them because he got so many women out there that want him. He got so many women out there that he can get just like that. So why would he respect you? You see what I'm saying? And you gawking after this man, and you, and you a woman. You see what I'm saying? So many women have lost their power. They let society break them down. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not doing this to tear down women. I'm not doing this to blame women. You know, I'm doing this to speak into the lives of women, to empower them, to teach them their worth and their value. That's why I'm doing this here. I'm not doing this to blame women. I'm doing this to speak into the lives of women and let them know you deserve better. You deserve better than this. That's what I'm trying to get a lot of my queen to see. You the queen. You the queen. You the prize. You always been the prize. And you always will be the prize. And there was a time where a man will take care of a woman. I'm talking about way back in the days. Men were pursuing women. If a man wanted a woman, he had to pursue that woman. Even, heck, even when I was in school, if I wanted a girlfriend, ain't no girl... Now, you probably had some girl back in those days pursue men, but the majority of girls back in the day, even in my even in my era, you had to go to them. If you want a girlfriend, you got to go to them. They ain't going to run behind you unless you was an athlete or a football player, you know, but the average woman with the average dude, if you want a girlfriend, you got to push down. See what I'm saying? And, and, and way back in the day before my time, men pursued women, men provided for women, Men protected women. I'm not saying that men was perfect. They did wrong. They they probably cheated, but they probably did something back in those days too. But at least they will take care of a woman. At least they were doing that. You got these men now. They sorry. You know why? Because women lost their power. Women lost their power. If women get their power back and force these men to respect them, force these men to go get a job and provide for them, Stop talking about, oh, I don't mind going 50-50 with the man, all that stuff. If these, if these silly women get off social media, influencing women to stay with men who cheat and they go viral, this is what's going on in society. And this is why a lot of good women, a lot of high-value women, a lot of women who have their power, who walk in their purpose, who not on their back, who being single, who are asking it, this is why a lot of women like that are not getting married because there are so many women who not walking in their power. And the Lord wants me to tell y'all, y'all got to get y'all power back. Y'all got to get y'all power back. And, you know, and y'all know me, you know, I, I love the black queens. I love the black queens. But, like I said before, the most majority of this ride or die stuff is affecting the black community more than any other race. I'm not saying the blacks is the only one that's doing it, but the blacks fall for it more than any other race. It's the black men putting that mess in their music to tear down the black women. It's the black women who trying to influence black women that polygamy is okay, that we still supposed to walk in polygamy because it's in the Bible. It's the black men doing that to the black women more so in any race. Now other races are doing it too, but it's the blacks doing it more so in any other race, keeping the black women down. Now they're influencing black women that it's okay for a man to have more than multiple women that a man can't be faithful to one woman because he's not wired that way. That is a lie. This is what's going on. Society have taken the power of women. And the devil is behind this mess. And see, when I do, when I get on here doing what I'm doing, I'm in spiritual warfare. I'm in spiritual warfare. And y'all see that this little um Filipino woman coming on here 
all in the comment section you know what i'm saying i i, I be i'll be blocking them all in the comment section showing her boo and all in here trying to get me off our track and, and and like i told like i told one of my friends that ain't that don't bother me that don't bother me i'm too strong for that i got too much integrity that don't impress me a woman coming on here talking about she lonely she want a man and she looking for a set girl i'll block you in the heartbeat you know what i'm saying I ain't got time for that because i understand that it's about spiritual welfare it's about me getting on here pouring to the hearts of women because i understand if i can get the women to walk in their power these men gonna change because like i said women always had the influence over men but because women have lost their power this is why men are doing what they're doing and if you don't believe that women always had influence over men Look at the beginning with Adam and Eve. Look what the serpent did. The serpent, he already know. The serpent was smart. See, you gotta you gotta understand. The devil ain't no fool now. He he he's he, he slick. And the devil say, I wanna get I wanna get Adam to fall. You see what I'm saying? But he said, But if I wanna get Adam to fall, I gotta go to his influencer, which is Eve. You see what I'm saying? That's what y'all gotta realize. If the devil went to, if the if the if the serpent would have went to Adam and said, Hey Adam, didn't the Lord say you can't eat the, the from the tree of life? Adam wouldn't be like, get behind me, Satan. Get behind me. He wouldn't have failed for that. But the influence of a woman, the influence of a woman, and what Adam did wrong, he let a, another man talk to his wife. You see what I'm saying? And that's why the serpent went to Eve first. Gave it to Eve. Then Eve said, here, here, Adam, because of the woman influence. You see what I'm saying? Instead of Adam stepping up like a man and say, baby, what God say? You can't do this here. Adam allowed the influence of a woman to get him to disobey the commandment of God. You see what I'm saying? And that's why when that happened, that's why the first person who God went, he, he called Adam. Because you know why? He put Adam in charge. He put Adam in charge. Adam would have been a man to stand up and say, hey, we can't do this, babe. No, not that out of her hand, but because of the woman influence. You see what I'm saying? The woman influence. Women always had the influence over men. But now in 2020, it's the other way around. Men are influencing women. Men, women are losing themselves over a man. And this is why men do what they're doing. This is why a lot of women can't get married. And like I said, I tell I tell my queen, like, you want a man to marry you, you getting out all the free coochie, ain't nobody gonna ain't no man gonna marry you. You gotta stop this here. And one thing about me, I hold you accountable. I mean, I'm I'm gonna tell you in the knife way. You see what I'm saying? Um for niggas stuff getting out hand and never talk. I see day women put up with sharing a man. Yeah, yeah, Queen Key. This is this is it's it's like popular. It's popular these days for a woman to share a man. <laughs> and, and society has broken women down to do this. And a lot of women think it's okay. And I have been in coaching sessions where women tell me, they they, they family members and they friends, girl, stay with that man who cheating on you, girl. Long he paying your bills. Don't leave that man. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why I tell, this is why I tell women, you need relationship advice. Get you a coach, somebody you can trust. Get on a session with Coach Rod, cause a, a, a broken woman gonna tell you to stay with a man who's cheating on you. Don't leave, girl. Don't leave, girl. He paying your bills, and that's what, and this is what's going on. And we gotta stop this stuff, man. And that's why I do what I do, because you know, the more queens that I can raise up, and I'm a challenge some of y'all, like I tell y'all before. Y'all right here crying about a man. These men ain't stunned, y'all. These men ain't stunned, y'all. And like I was saying in the comment the other day, this woman here worrying about this man. This man going, this man going mountain climbing. While she's sitting here texting this man, calling this man. She's sitting here inboxing this man. This man on the mountain, he going mountain climbing. He going out to the bars having fun. And you got these women around here worrying about these men. Oh, I want a man. Oh, I want a man. Girl, get on your purpose. Get you a YouTube channel. If, if you don't like to be on the camera, start you a podcast where you ain't just got you just talk and post your podcast on YouTube. 
Get your YouTube channel. Speaking to the lives of women. We need more people like me. And, and what y'all women don't realize, if you've been through a lot with a man, that's where your purpose, that's where your purpose are is it, gonna come from your pain. If you've been cheated on, if you've been that hold me down, if you've been that ride or die, take that, get your power back. Take that and use that to empower other women. Because more, if the more we empower women, the more women can walk in their power, and the more men will get themselves together. But a lot of women might not understand this. They're gonna get mad with this because they feel like, well, it's not fair. Everything is on the woman. It starts with the woman because the woman is the influencer over the man. You see what I'm saying? If we can get the women to get their power back, to walk in their power, stay off their back, and I understand, like you know, everybody. It's not a Christian, and you know, I don't expect everybody to be abstinence if you're not a Christian. Because, and a lot of my Christians they struggle with this right here because they feel as though I need to beat everybody up with the Bible and tell everybody, Oh, oh, you're going to hell if you don't, if you don't do abstinence and all of here. But a lot of times, my Christians don't realize if a person don't because I got people that comment like, Oh, I'm not a Christian, but I love your channel, I love your videos. And I'm not on here just for the Christians. So I, I I say thank you for your support. I come back, thank you for your support. I got Muslims on here. I got all types of people on here. So as a Christian, according to the Bible, we don't supposed to judge the one who's not in the church. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11, 9 and 10, we're supposed to judge the ones in the church, not the ones outside the church. So that's why I don't get on here and beat everybody with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I try to teach women, like, even if you're not a Christian, even if you don't want to be abstinence, I understand you got your own opinion on that. That's your own personal decision. But you, you don't let no man come in your life and take you on one date, take you to McDonald's and get you a half a meal, a Big Mac with cheese, and, and you on your back talking about y'all got chemistry because he know how to make good love to you. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 if a man, and like I said before, like yesterday, my girl Latoya Kill, she put, she did a, uh, a video, and she said a man won't, won't never value what he didn't have to work for, and that's what y'all don't realize. A man ain't gonna value anything that he ain't work for. If he ain't work for you, so I, I tell the non-Christians, you know, least let this man work for you. If you gonna give it up for you get married, that's your personal decision. But let this man work for you. You see what I'm saying? Don't just let a man come in your life. One conversation. One phone conversation, and he telling you, you my wife, I want to be with you, I love you, I want us to be exclusive. Then before you know it, you on your back. That's the woman who, land, who, who lost her power. That's the woman who not walking in her power. Now you on your back, and guess what? He going to put you in his mass, his mass session. Now you want to get married, though. See what I'm saying? When you get good sex... As a woman, you want to get married. When you get, get sex as a woman, oh, the chemistry is so good. Oh, my God, the chemistry. Girl, they ain't chemistry. That's lust. You, if, you, if you want to know real chemistry, keep your leg closed. Keep your leg closed and see how long this man can date you and, quote, court you, take you out on a date. See how long this man can, can treat you like a queen without sex. You talking about that's chemistry. When y'all can sit down and hold a conversation. When y'all can laugh together. That's what chemistry is. Chemistry ain't you and the man in the bed. Oh, 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 oh yeah, that feel good. Oh, when all that's over and said and done. What do you have to offer other than your body? You talking about you got chemistry. Because the man told you one time he want to be with you. And you the best thing happened to him since like bread. He want to serve God with you. And oh, chemistry? Oh my God, the chemistry is so good. Cause he handsome, he attractive. Girl, there ain't no chemistry. That just lost. That just lost. And that's what I mean by queens. All y'all queens. All y'all queens. All y'all queens. Get y'all power back. Get y'all power back. Walk in power. Walk in victory. Walk in the strength. Be that strong, strong woman that's able to to stand out and be different. Don't let a man disrespect you and, de and defile you 
and, and just disregard you like you ain't like you like you a piece of paper. You're not a piece of paper. You're not a trash can. You're not a doormat. You are a queen. You're supposed to be a man treasure. According to Proverbs 18 and 22, when a man who finds the wife finds a good thing. If you read the New Living Translation, this is one of my favorite scriptures I like to use to, to, to validate women, to boost women's self-esteem up. I like the New Living Translation. It says, when a man finds their wife, he finds a treasure. You, you're supposed to be a man treasure. You hear me? Do, look what the Bible telling y'all. You're a treasure. Even if you're not a Christian, you should at least find yourself in the word of God, baby. You, 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 you a man treasure. I don't care if you're a Muslim. You, you a man treasure. I don't care what your belief feel. You a man treasure. It, all women are supposed to be a man treasure. All women. You know how a person supposed to treat a treasure? Like it's valuable. You see what I'm saying? Until women stop allowing men to disregard them like they are a piece of paper and demand that men treat them like they are a treasure before they get these men their bodies and do it on a consistent basis and for these men to value them, these men going to keep doing what they're doing. They're going to keep walking all over women. And and women ain't, and, and a lot of women is not going to get married. And I told one of my clients right here in coaching, I say it's a hard pill to swallow. But the way things are going in this day and age, a lot of women probably ain't going to never get married unless they settle, unless they open their legs up, especially the one who's doing the ass in it. The one who's doing the ass in it, it, gonna, it, 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 it might be, and I know some women right now are uh, virgin, about my age right now, virgin, ain't never had kids because they're trying to wait till they get married. <laughs> so she might, she, she might, might be in her 50s before she... Finally, you know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. It's a hard pill to swallow. Some some queens may not get married. And some of y'all ain't gonna like when I say that, but you have to be okay with that. And that's what one of my queens was saying that I coached the other night. Coach Rod, I'm okay with it. If I don't ever get married again, I'm okay with that because I'm in my purpose. And this is what she told me. When I go to bed that night, Coach Rod, my purpose is what's on my mind. When I wake up in the morning, Coach Rod, my purpose is on my mind. Not no man. Not no man. You see what I'm saying? My purpose. And that's what I'm trying to get all my queens to see. I'm trying to get all my clients to see. Stop worrying about a man and get in your purpose. If it meant to be, if it's God will, that man going to find you. That man going to find you. He going to come and run you down and overtake you. You, you ain't going to know what hit, where it hit you. Where it hit you. But you sitting here depressed. To me, I want a man. I want a man. You're not walking in your power. You're not walking in your victory. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, it's not bashing women. It's not blaming women. What I'm really trying to do is empower y'all. Because I understand as, as a man, the only thing that can get me, to keep me in check, is a woman. It's a strong woman. That's the only thing that can, that can get me in check. The only thing that can check my ego, because every man got an ego. Every man got an ego. Every man need a woman to speak to that ego and keep that ego on track. And a woman, a woman is the only thing. A strong woman, I'm talking about a good woman. A strong woman is the only thing that can speak to that man's ego. That's, that's when that man is in love with you. That's, that's when that man would do anything for you. When that man's in love with you, and that man got character, you the only one can speak to that man's ego. But when you got women around here being weak for a man, he supposed to be weak for you. You the prize. You the prize. He supposed to be weak for you. You see what I'm saying? And that's why men do what they do, because so many women, so many women lost their power. And some women ain't never had their power. But I want to challenge my queens on here today. You may have been broken in your past. You may have been cheated on. And, you, and right now, you may be that ride or die. Right now, you may be that um, pig mission. I'm not here to judge you. But I'm here to challenge you to get your power back. Stop allowing a man to disrespect you. Stop allowing a man to walk all over you. And when you get your power back, don't question it decision that you made to break up with a man who's using you for sex. 
Cause sometimes I get that from my client. They'll reach back out to me like, man, Coach Rod, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting. Have I made the right decision? And I got to test them back. Like, girl, you made the best decision of your life to get rid of a man who just was laying on top of you, who told you to your face that he don't love you. He, he, he told you to your face that he don't love you. You made the best decision of your life. And I be telling them right now, what you suffer from is just loneliness. Cause you know why you're not in your purpose that's why you lonely you're not in your purpose but like my queen i coached the other night my sister i coached the other night she's not lonely you know why because she's in her purpose when you in your purpose when you're doing that podcast you ain't lonely you ain't got time to be thinking about no man you ain't got time to tell me, oh i'm lonely you're not gonna have no al green spirit i'm so tired of being alone i'm so tired of you ain't gonna have no eye green spirit when you're in your purpose. The reason why a lot of y'all are alone because you're not in your purpose. You're not in your purpose. See what I'm saying? So that's why I want to get on here and, and, and empower y'all, empower my queens. Because I'm, I'm trying to go against society. I'm trying to go against the norm. I'm trying to kick against the stuff that society put in their music, they, what they're putting on social media. And, and what y'all gotta realize. The ride or die stuff, the hold me down, that's the only, that's what really go viral on YouTube, on Facebook. Nonsense is going viral. Everybody sharing that stuff. And what I need from y'all, according to the numbers, I got 47 on here. What I need from y'all is to hit that share button. If you got a Facebook page, share this on your Facebook page. We need to get more women to hear this message. It's a woman out here right now need this message. Put this on your Facebook page. Share this. If you know some women that don't watch my channel and they're going through something, women on your job, girl, go to, go to YouTube and, 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 and search Coach Rod and watch Coach Rod videos. Tell your friends about me. Tell your family about me. Tell your cousins. Girl, you need to go to Coach Rod's channel. You see what I'm saying? Because the more we get women to walk in their power, that's when men gonna get right. That's when men gonna get right. That's when men gonna get right. So I just wanted to come on here and just share that with y'all, man. You know, I'm so passionate about what I'm doing, man. And this is my purpose. This is my purpose. That's why I tell y'all, man, when you in your purpose, when you in your purpose, you go to sleep. You wake up in the morning. The first thing on your mind is your purpose. The first thing on your mind is your purpose. You ain't worrying about who don't like you, who's sissing about you, or who don't want to be with you. You're kidding about that. You you get joy out of doing your purpose. It, it was it's a it's a millionaire. He was on Steve Harvey's show. And he, he learned how to trade stocks at a young age, stocks. And he was a, he a trader. And he said, Man, I made so much money. My battery again, my phone gonna cut off. But he said I made so much money, man. I, I had the nicest houses, the cars, but he said I wasn't happy till I found my purpose. And he said his purpose in life was to teach people how to um how to trade stocks and make money and be happy and get off their jobs. And that's what he do for a living. He he teach people how to trade stocks. And he said when he found his purpose, that's when he found his happiness not the money and that's why you got so many rich people want to commit suicide they got hell in their life they still not happy they got all the money they want because they're not in their purpose they know how to make money but they are not in their purpose you see what i'm saying so that's what y'all you got to understand this you know what i'm saying there's not enough enough men that think like this. you're right you're right, but if the women get on they, if the women get on their point, if the women get right, these men gonna these men gonna tighten up. They gonna tighten up. <laughs> I agree with you with that, sis. A lot of men is not like this right here, but the women gotta get their influence back. Women are, have always had the influence over men. Women gotta get their influence back. Women gotta get their power back and walk in their power. And you gonna see more men stepping up to the plate. Stepping up to the plate. Being men. Hey Amen. It's Tank Brothers, right? I love y'all. I used to work on a non-profit. I think God is...
guiding me to uh, think God is going to make a different purpose in my life. There you go, Queen Key. Yeah. Start that non-profit. You work for the non-profit so you know how I go. Start that non-profit. You see what I'm saying? Get in your purpose. Get in your purpose. And when you walk in that purpose, you ain't on your back being disrespected by no man. That's the woman that walking in her power. And it may take a long, a long, a little while, but one day, that man, he gonna run, he gonna, he gonna pursue you. He gonna, he gonna come out of nowhere. He just gonna hit you like they right here, boom. You gonna know where he came from. And it happens all the time. I, I hear a lot of women with that testimony. When I was in my purpose, my husband came out of nowhere. He just came out of nowhere. But, you know, God bless y'all, man, my buddy. Um, my phone probably gonna cut off, but, man, we'll talk soon. If the Lord willing, I might come back on later on today if I don't have the writers. Because today I'm finna get me some chitlins, some collard greens. <laughs> you know, I'm from the south, so I gotta, I gotta do it good before I go back on the road Monday. So, if I don't have the writers, I might come back on this afternoon. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. Hey. <laughs> Y'all people from up north, but y'all be tripping me in the comment when I be put my food on, on my channel. But y'all don't know nothing about this this kind of food right here, though. But we'll talk soon if I don't have the writers. God bless y'all. <laughs>